Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. I just want to say thank you for watching all my videos, including this one that we're going to do. Caroline, bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never been so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Yeah, so I got Max squeaking here in his stroller. Jameson was running up and down the driveway for a few hours just to howl in. So I went up the road in the pickup, but I didn't see anything. He's in the house now. He's over there behind us. So uh, on Tuesday when I was out with Sean and we come home and we walked back to the cows looking for Onyx is because she went missing on us. Now, it's not unusual for Onyx to go out. The dogs all eat dinner, the three big ones, and they want to go straight out afterwards, and she usually goes out as well. She doesn't go too far from the house, and uh, there's been some mornings, you know, 6 a.m., and she's at the front door meowing. She loves her food, so I know she's not going too far away. So Easter Sunday, after dinner, I was doing the dishes so I was in that kitchen window and she was just out there like I say she doesn't go far from the house so she was like sneaking up on the little birds because they were at the feeder and I was watching her and that's the last I seen off her um so yeah I'm a little worried I think we've lost her but Sean says oh don't give up but it's been five nights so I think she's gone uh, last week we heard the coyotes they were pretty nearby and um, last night too they were just howling it was about oh my goodness I'm gonna say between 2 between 2 and 4 a.m. and Trump he was shouting away too it was like come on over here we are and Sean, Sean even agreed that they're not too far away yeah it could be in any of these fields. But I just went back just in case she was wandering over there with the cows. And we've been calling her and nobody's seen her. Yeah, which is sad. Poor Onyx. So I haven't put her cat litter box away or anything. It's still sitting in the bathroom. I'm just hoping that uh, she's okay and she will come back home. Now, why he was... Like he was barking at the door, howling as a, as a hound does. And then he was kind of getting me to go up the driveway. So like I said, I drove up there and I looked around and I didn't see anything. I was thinking that, oh, they found her and he was trying to tell me where she was. But at the same time, I would think that they might bring her home because they loved her as well. We all did. Anyways, so I'm still hoping that she might show up at the door yeah she could be just out there <laughs> but like i said she doesn't leave too far away from the front from the house at all no and when max and rosie go out i am sitting out there with them but the nice thing that onyx was doing was she wasn't using her cat litter box she was going outside and she uh would only use the litter box when i locked her in the house when we went out for the day yeah but she hasn't come back. It's been five nights, so this is Friday. So, yeah, we'll, we are no longer have her. And then we lost Molly. So, yeah. Anyways, let's do a Dollarama haul. So I went to Dollarama. It's not a very big haul. And I also went to Dollar Tree. They didn't have a lot, but I did buy a few things. So let's see what's on my list here. Dollarama. So I bought two of the Pure Leaf uh, Blackberry Flavored Iced Tea. I love these. These are delicious. So these were $2.25 each with a three cent <clears throat> environmental fee, which gives us a total of $2.23 each. Just a minute. All right, I got him to settle down. He was just howling out the door there. Uh, it's very, very windy because our our flag was like this and now it's bent right over. So I don't know what he's barking at back out there. I don't see anything. Anyway, so back to this. The, they were $2.25 each 
with the three cent environmental fee. Then the next item on my list was uh, bamboo stakes. Now they had some clear coated ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think there was maybe 12 in it. And then Sean spotted these ones and these ones are gonna be ideal. So they are four feet tall, really big. And uh, I said, we can either cut them in half or, you know, even in threes. It depends on what we're gonna, what plants we're gonna support. So it does say bamboo stakes. You get 25 stakes in here. So if I cut them in half, I've got 50 stakes. This was $5 and it says right on it, uh, four feet tall, which comes to about there on me because then I'm five foot nothing. <laughs> Ideal for annuals, perennials, vegetables, small shrubs and climbing plants. And so they do have some kind of a green coating on them. But if you're, you know, needing some steaks for a garden, I would definitely grab these ones. All the gardening stuff is in Full swing now. <clears throat> I even pointed out the wire tomato cages and we should have grabbed them, but we didn't because they go fast as well. Yeah, $5 for those is a pretty good deal. I bought some Lysol cleaner, so I just went with the uh, multi-surface cleaner. I'm off my floors with this, the Lysol one. Now, last time I saw the Mr. Clean and I bought it, but it was making our floor sticky. I don't know what's in it, but we have like laminate flooring here and it was making them sticky. I just mopped the floors with this this morning and they're not sticky. So I don't know why. So we're sticking to the Lysol cleaner, uh, $3.50. And this is a big one. It's a 1.2 liter. I got a basket here. That way I can put everything away. <clears throat> I don't know why I have such a dry throat. <clears throat> I think it's the medication. Uh, Sean grabbed his coffee filters. He uses the uh, number fours in our Ninja coffee maker. So it takes pods or it takes, uh, what do you call it? Loose uh, coffee. So these were $1.50 for coffee, for 50 coffee filters. <laughs> yeah, he always just grabs those. Then he won't run out. I grabbed uh, the Javex sponges again, $1.25. So I always have two by the sink. Uh, one is for, you know, our dishes and the other one is for when I clean out the animals' bowls. So I go through a lot of those. Got that. What else here? I got a little scrubbing brush. I should have grabbed two of them. I'm always looking for a little scrubbing brush and I got this one. It's by Javex. It was $1.25. I like it because I can hold on to it and scrub what I need to scrub. So I wish I had to grab two of them at the time. I could have left one in the laundry room and, but yeah, I have it now. If I go see them again, I'll grab another one. $1.25 is a good price. We got the cool gate. This is the big uh, tube as well, 150 mil. Uh, cool gate max fresh advanced whitening, extra whitening power in clean mint. That was $3.50. Oh, let's need toothpaste in the bathroom. I bought the parchment papers, the uh, 10 individual sheets. Another thing that I always grab. They fit perfect on a cookie sheet, so you just pull it out, throw it on. If I am doing other things, I do have my big roll that I have as well. So these are good, I think, 10 of them for $1.25. And another kitchen item that I bought were these. Now, I have a pack. I've tried these, and I've used them, and I love them. They're by Betty Crocker. They're the pre-cut parchment loaf lifter pan insert. And these are really good because you're making your little loaf and when it's ready, you just take the two ends, you lift it right out and there's no mess to clean up. Caroline always loves no mess to clean up. <laughs> there's 12 in it. It says fits a large loaf pan, but it doesn't say what size. Oven, freezer, and microwave safe. Non-stick surface, 
for perfect baking results is what it says. So if you bake little loaves of whatever, then uh, I would suggest getting those. I really like them. Now, what else did I get? I'm going to show you that last. Remember my um, prints that I've got on Timu, my horses? So I've, you know, flattened them out now. I bought these thinking that maybe I could just put them on canvas and then it gives me something to hang it with, right? These are the exact perfect size. These are 12 by 16. They were $3.50. So I need your thoughts. I will insert a picture right here off the one I have off my horse, it's framed, and I have two cats, and they're framed as well. So, do I go looking for frames, or do I mount it onto canvas? Because it's the exact perfect size. So, give me your opinions. I know this would be the modern route to go, to hang them like this. But they will be hanging near the framed ones as well. So let me know what you all think because uh, I don't know what to do. This was this is like the cheapest way to go, but then how do I attach it? Do I glue it on or do I, you know, use the double-sided tape? I don't know, but I bought them anyway. They're not going to go to waste. Two of them were three fifty each. So, yeah, give me your opinions on what I should do. Now, the last thing I got, I wish they had I had two. There was only one left. It is a chicken or a rooster or whatever you want to call it, a plant holder. So this is going to go on the chicken coop um, with a hanging basket. I just wish I had two so that I could put one on each side. I will uh, keep an eye out for a second one. And you get all the hardware that you need with it, your little screws, and it was $4.75. And I think that's gonna look awesome on the chicken coop. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a thumbnail. So that I got as well. So I'm excited to get Sean to put that out there. Now that's it for everything that I bought. I am on the hunt for some more of this. I forgot where I bought where what location, but anyway, it was the uh, coconut curls curling hair butter. This is amazing, and I don't remember what it was, but I can't find it now. Cause my natural curls, like I was using an expensive product on my hair, and uh, this is amazing and what I do it does say that you could leave it in where did I read that it's leave in or rinse out so I put it on in the shower and I do rinse it out but look at my curls this is my natural curl sorry I'm knocking things over this is my natural curly hair so I love this and uh I'm trying to save it, but I've used quite a bit. Ooh, I got hair in it. Yeah, really love this. So when I find it, I'm buying a couple of them because I really like it. All right, so that is it. That is the end of Dollarama. That came to $39.26. Yeah, let's jump into my little um, Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in months because I have to drive either an hour and a half or two hours either direction basically to find a dollar a dollar rama or sorry a dollar tree dollar ramas are everywhere sorry I'm reaching to grab everything oh as long as I don't fall off the chair we're all good okay <laughs> now where's my receipt so our Dollar Trees here in Canada used to be $1.25. Then they bumped everything up to $1.50. And now you do find the odd thing for $2. $2 is the highest that I have seen things at. Yeah. So here we go. 
Everything pretty much was a dollar fifty. These were two dollars. Let me just pick them out. That was two dollars. <laughs> Oh yes, and I bought bread at $2. Okay, so here we go. I got all these little face masks and I'm going to definitely try all of them. Uh, it says that they're new. This one is Perfecting and Brightening with pomegranate. And it's also, uh, it says relax and leave on skin for 10 to 15 minutes. So these were $1.50. So I got that one. And then I got, now these are all by the same. It's called Viva Color. This is a moisturizing and brightening mask. Now, color is spelled the American way because in Canada, we, we put C-L-O-U-R. But I believe they do come from, it says made in China. Imported, yeah. Anyways, this one is the moisturizing and brightening and uh, facial mask with rose in it. So I'm excited to do some masks. And this one is Chamomile. It's nourishing and repairing facial mask. The packaging is beautiful on these too. I was thinking uh, Mother's Day is coming up next month. If you were putting together a Mother's Day basket, these would be really good to put in it. This one is anti-aging and smoothing. I think I need that one. <laughs> Looks like this one's got coconut in it. Yeah, with coconut. So it tells you on the bottom what it is. And there's one sheet in each. So they are sheet masks. And then this, I, could, I had to buy them all. I couldn't pick just one. Uh, this one is Relief Spa Facial Mask. And infused with skin protecting centella extract and hyaluronic acid. And this one, oh, so yeah. This one says, like, it tells you in the corner, too, how long you need to keep them on, 15 minutes. I mean, they're all good, right? How can you not buy all of them? Now, this one is a different make. Uh, and I think there was a different one of this, but I only grabbed the one. Indulge your sense senses with this luxurious scent. And is it Jamela in France? Like, is this English or French? And it says, number one mask, 100 years of traditional scent created by France, France Perfume Corporation since 1921. With an emphasis on scents and fragrances, we offer luxurious scents for your lifestyle. So what is this one? It says Mandarin, pink peony and white musk. What? It doesn't tell me exactly what I bought. What did I buy? Okay, this is interesting. I thought this was a face mask. It is. Sorry. This mask with the, I can't, look at how small this print is. This mask with the essence containing, uh, what is that? Peonia lactiflora extract with tea ripple Syra Cree energy provides moisturizing, relaxing, refreshing, and brightening. So this one does everything. The packaging is very nice. That's what that one looks like. So how many of those did I get in total? We'll just do this. We'll put this guy in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I ended up with six masks. Let's put this as a thumbnail as well. Yeah, so, you know, three, six. So for $9, I got six masks. I think that's pretty good. Then, you know, Caroline, she has to stop at the stickers. I have a sticker obsession. I was just about to say sticker obsession at the same time. <sighs> these are by Forever in Time. I have never seen these ones. It says Crystal Art Stickers and they're 3D. They're just beautiful. So they're, they reminded me of the Diamond Art almost, but very, very little uh, gems. But just look at the beautiful spring colors. So I grabbed two of those. They were a dollar 
dollar fifty each. Yeah. And we're running out off a notepad up here in the kitchen because isn't that where you always are on the phone or and trying to you know write something down or remember something? So I grabbed a magnetic uh, pad for the fridge. I do have one that's like a shopping list or a to-do list and it's you kind of rip it off. I need something that's long if I need to take down the information. So this one uh, is by Jot. It says there's 60 sheets in it and it says focus on the good. And I think right now, Sean and I need that. <laughs> We've been through a lot with this transport truck. Yeah. Oh, and then the price of uh, fuel nowadays. So diesel was always less than gas and now it's more and we have a big truck to fill as well. <laughs> we have to buy diesel as, as well as our uh, gasoline. This one I really like too. These are, um, these are a favorite flower of mine. <laughs> and I forgot the name of them. Coronations. I love coronations. Aren't they beautiful? Look at this one, that's my favorite. And they're puffy. They stand, well you can't see, but yeah. These ones are puffy ones. They call them pop out. Just beautiful. I've actually grown these before too. I may have to see if I can buy some this year. They're just beautiful. I bought a card to send away to someone and I know they watch my videos. And then I saw this. And it just reminded me of a mat for my Cricut machine. Only this one is an adhesive cutting mat. So it looks like you peel off the whole back and I can stick it onto something. I like the size of it and it's got the measurements. So it says it's a standard grip, which makes me think I could use this in my Cricut without even sticking it onto something. Because my blue one that I have is the full size, the 12 by 12. Uh, but then this one is saying 11 by 16. Um, I don't know. Oh, 4.5 by 6.5 inch. Yeah, so it's about half the size of the ones that I do have. It's quite thick, so I, I grabbed it. I'm going to try it in my Cricut or I can use it for something else. But I'm going to try it because I like it. It's like card size, right? Like if you were making a card, yeah, it's definitely card size for card stock is my thoughts. Because the blue one that you use is like the pink is kind of a vinyl and any, any, um, what am I trying to think of? Any, any like vinyl and then the blue is for card stock. They're all different colors. So I grabbed that for $1.50 as well. Yes, Max, did you want to make an appearance? He's like, yes, mom. I need to say hello to all our friends. Don't you? <laughs> and I saw this and there was only one of them, but I think this is pretty awesome. This, it's metal. It's also made by Jot. 24 hour video surveillance, no trespassing. Because our little road there, which is a, which is a, a road, a country road, doesn't lead you to anywhere really. It leads you on a shortcut off the property. Our property line goes past that all the way down to the main one that everybody flies up and down. So we're gonna put this somewhere to stop all the nosy neighbors. Not so much in the winter because they only plow up to the end of our driveway, but once the good weather comes, I constantly see traffic. I'm worried about the dogs because they do go down to the tree lines and uh, they're allowed to. It's our property, right? So we're going to put this up and uh, maybe stop some people from driving up and down. Like the, the farmer comes up because he rents the corral where the cows are and then he owns, he not owns, he rents he used to own the place, but he acts like he still owns it. He uh, is renting the back pasture, that pasture, and then there's other farmers that are farming the land. So we got we got to deal with a lot of people, so we do, don't we, Max? 
And half the times we don't really know who's who. <laughs> All right. What else did I get? This video is going to be long. I got this now. I was, uh, so I'm a natural redhead and I usually buy a medium auburn hair color and it brings out my red. So I was buying one from Avon and it was $10 and I didn't mind that. I really liked it. So it just kept my natural look, right? Cause I, you know, I'm going gray up here. So, uh, when I went on there to buy, because I usually buy two or three at a time and I've used them all. When I went on to my site, they're not selling the hair dry anymore. So I guess it wasn't a big seller. I didn't keep, I might be able to find the name of it, but I don't even know if maybe I could buy it online. I saw this at Dollar Tree and it's a number three. It's a medium auburn. It was $2 permanent cream hair color. It's about the color of what I normally buy. And what's the worst thing that's going to happen? That I turn bright orange? And that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I dyed my hair one time. And uh, I don't even know what color I bought. And my hair came out like bright, bright, bright orange. And I had to go into work in the morning. And I knew the guys were going to tease me. Because I worked at the arena, right? I worked with all the guys. I was the only female so I'm like, oh, I don't wear hats. So, you know, I'd look funny if I went in with a, a ball cap on because I don't wear them. So I went into work anyway. And the guys all were teasing me and laughing, which they do. It's, it's all in fun, right? So we went for lunch and we came back. And the manager had put, we had one of those um, electronic signs. And we used to, you know, put where, what dressing rooms the teams were to use. Well, he put on it. Did you see Caroline's red hair today? <laughs> I came back and I said, because you put that up there, I'm taking the afternoon off and I'm going to the hairdressers. And he says, yeah, I think you should. <laughs> so I went off, my hairdresser repaired it. And it was like, I'm never doing that again. And then I found the one that I liked from Avon and now they don't sell it. So we're going to try this. Hopefully I'm not too orange because like I said, I'm a natural redhead and uh, it, it my red comes out when I dye it. And these, um, I looked at the expiry date too because, you know, I don't know how old they were, but it says 03-10-2026. So I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so it just, it comes with this, comes with this. So you don't get like, uh, you know how normally you would do a conditioner afterwards. That's fine. We'll just, yeah, the developer and the cream. So we'll try that maybe over the weekend. $2. And the other thing that was $2, they had Elvis socks. So when I was in Dollar Tree, Sean went into the bank and uh, they have long ones and they had these little, are these called crew socks? Anyways, I grabbed these ones and I thought, oh, you know, Sean likes to wear socks, funny socks and that. And he goes, I'm not an Elvis fan. I said, fine then, I'll wear them. <laughs> they had, they're, they're good quality. This is a two pack. No, is it a three? There's three pairs in here for $2. It's a US 7 to 12. Men, they are men's. Uh, but I could wear them too, right? If he doesn't want them, I'm an Elvis fan. Let's see if we can break this. There we go. So this pair, that's what it says on the back. So, you know, you got your little runners on in the summertime. <laughs> well, it's upside down. <laughs> There you have it. It's Elvis. And there's writing on the bottom, 2022. So there's that pair. This pair just says Elvis all over it. You know what? He'll wear them. If I put them in his drawer, he'll wear them. Elvis. And that one is just black. Because summertime's coming and he needs some new socks. And then this pair has the gray. They're all marked with that 2022 on the bottom too. 
This one says TCB with a lightning strike. So yeah, that one, you don't even know what it is with stars. So that's what I grabbed for Sean. He's getting Elvis socks. Like I said, I'm gonna wash them, put them in his drawer and he'll grab them out and wear them. So our total bill, my total bill, he, oh, and I bought two loaves of bread. Let me go grab those. Hold on. Oh yeah, when we just first got there, uh, the bread guy was there because not all the Dollar Tree sell bread or they do, but you gotta know what day he comes in. So this was Tuesday. So I bought the Dempster's English muffins in the Dollar Tree for $2. There's six in it. And then I saw the big loaf of uh, the Canadian rye bread. Like this is the big one. And I said to the cashier, how much is your bread? And she said, $2. And I said, for those big ones? And she said, yes. So I grabbed two of these. Um, in the grocery store, these are over $5. The one that we buy on sale for $1.97 is this little tiny one. See the size difference? It's like crazy. So I grabbed two of those as well. They're fresh because he just brought them in. So yeah, if you live near a Dollar Tree and uh, you want some fresh good bread, it's $2. The bread is $2. You're gonna go into the grocery store and pay a lot more because we were buying this at Giant Tiger for $1.97 on sale. So last time we were there, we bought, what did we buy, four or six of these? They, they last in the freezer but I couldn't believe this. And we have the big uh, deep um, four sliced toaster for bread this big. This is good for, you know, uh, trying to think of what I just made yesterday morning for breakfast. <laughs> it was only yesterday. I made French toast. I had an abundance of eggs. So I was like, let's, uh, let's make some uh, French toast. Yeah, when Sean is home, he likes to go out to the chickens and he'll go out in the morning and then he comes in and he's like, oh, there's only two eggs or three eggs. And I says, yeah, they're like me. They don't do any work until the afternoon because I love to sleep in in the mornings. I love my sleep. I'm a night owl. So uh, I says, when you go back out, you know, because we got to go back out, lock them up and top up their food and water. Uh you go out there and we're getting seven to eight eggs a day. Even little sweet pea and cocoa are laying. Now those two are the little mothers that are sitting on them. So I don't know if I should get a little incubator and see if we can um, get some chicks. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyways, this is the end of my video. <laughs> I have talked too much. So Dollar Tree came to 30... $34 even, nice, $34, and then $39.26 a Dollarama. Yeah, now I have a thrift haul sitting here, so I'm just gonna put this stuff away, and I'm gonna sit and do that while everybody's quiet. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and if you are new and you are enjoying my uh, content, please subscribe. It definitely helps my channel grow like and comment because I love interacting with everybody. It's fun to read your comments. I was amazed at our gas prices across this country. So British Columbia was around $2 plus. Uh, we're in the middle here. So we are one, what was that? 143.9 and down east, uh, we had someone say 189. So, wow, it's, it's crazy. The fuel prices. Thanks, Trump. Anyways. Oh, why am I saying Trump? <laughs> I got Trump on the brain. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Trudeau. They both start with a T. <laughs> Blooper. Anyway, take care. I'll catch us all on my next video. Bye for now. Say bye, Max. Oh, he's sleeping. Bye. I forgot to show you guys that I got some foaming soap. It's a spa soap, spring meadow foaming soap for $1.75 at Dollar Tree. Look at the size of this. Because um, I have, we were using up all the Bath and Body Works and we've used up everything. So they've got their spring line out that I might uh, place an order. But in the meantime, I bought this foaming soap. 
Yeah, I forgot, I forgot about this. That was part of the $34. Caroline, bum, bum, bum. Good times never mean so good. So good.